My name is Laurie Ferris. I'm the president of Power Systems Technology, and we manufacture a very unique mini cell. This is a compact unit substation housing the primary switch gear, protection, transformation, some secondary distribution and metering, all in a space roughly two meters by two meters by two meters. Depending on the size of the transformer, whether it be 500 kVA up to 2500, the depth of the unit will increase some, but the width and the height remain roughly the same. And that will include up to, as in this case, three separate 15 kV low brake switches. This particular unit is in service now, and it is a loop switch arrangement. So we have two switches for the loop, one coming in here and one coming in here, and a separate switch for the transformer. Each of these switches is rated a full 600 amps low brake, and this one has to be ordered with the ground open and closed. The ground position being integral to the switch, so you can go to ground by simply operating the switch from open to ground. This customer has also ordered the SCADA package, which includes the switch position indicators, which are contacts, so as the switch is rotated, it will indicate the, the, the position of the switch, as on all three switches. It includes the gas pressure gauge, each unit comes complete with a standard gauge to tell you what the pressure is at various temperatures because the gas pressure will fluctuate with temperature. When the pressure drops below three pounds, uh, this will close this contact and will be indicated on their uh, digital meter up here. There's also two gauges, which I'm not sure you can see in the back, uh, which will give you the oil level and oil temperature at certain uh, contacts in there will also be closed to give you an indication on the SCADA system. The fuse protection in the system is at the back and that is key interlocked with this key here. You must open this switch to access this key, go around the side to open that door which will relieve this interlocking panel to open up and give you access to the fuses. At the same time, the pressure in the tank will automatically be relieved. On the secondary side, you can see this particular one has three distribution breakers and one breaker for the fire pump. This is quite a bit of breakers to put into one unit. But this allows them, instead of having a large, this case would be, uh, I believe, about a 2500 amp switchboard, they can feed three separate CDP panels, all in different rooms, different parts of the building. One of these is feeding a bus stop. And this particular bus truck from Cutler Hammer has been installed on the side of the unit uh, and then feeding out to somewhere else in the building. And that's fed by one of his breakers. This customer has also ordered a digital meter, a fairly nice one here, is a PML 7500, uh, which gives them all the uh, electrical information as well as their scatter contacts are connected in to this and they take that off electronically to know what's going on. As you can see from the enclosure, it's built as a weatherproof, tamper-proof construction. So this is the electrical ball. The fact that it's in a separate room is not really necessary. It's only for cosmetic purposes. But the unit itself is its own ball. It's also filled with the fire-rated fluid R10, which means it does not require a fire-rated room. It could be sitting out in a hall or in a garage or in any location. But this is the only way that we sell these units as a CSA certified, totally installed, tested in the factory, single piece, ready to install on the side. Thank you.